Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to go ahead to another question. So, Reverend Janet, um, we see the service you do in the church in front of people, in front of the pulpit. What other activities does priesthood entail to you that are not visible to us? Well, all around as a priest, you find that you have been called to many things. It's not only what the service you do. Sometimes somebody can call you on your phone and say, I've got this problem. Somebody can call you and say, please pray for me. I'm having a crisis. I need help. So we'll have to go and pray. And then also, maybe discussion sometimes. Uh, like in office, sometimes they will say, come and pray for us. And I have to go and pray for them and discuss. Sometimes in the meeting, we may just say, please, I think we need to have a direction of, especially when we want to talk of uh, uh, really telling the truth and saying, calling a spade a spade, other than us uh, trying to, to go around an issue. Because many times we mix issues, uh, you cannot uh, come and say the truth because of political affiliation, because you are so scared of this. But when you are off, you don't have any color, you don't have anything. Everybody is ready to talk to you uh, and say, okay, this one, if you ask her, like one time they asked me, say, if you want to, the truth, go to Janet, she'll tell you the truth. That is how they have uh, decided to make it. And of course, even in the community, for example, now in my neighborhood, we have instituted that we have a women prayer every Wednesday. And it has been helping so much that there are crises. We are having teenagers, we are having some of the families, uh, girls, teenager pregnancy, there are other issues, and we have tried to resolve them and encourage each other, and it has done very, very well. So, and within the community also, we get to do some other things that people ask you um, to help. And of course, uh, the other gift that maybe I'm be having is that I have many, I thank God, I have many gifts. I have many gifts that I will use them all around collectively, be it in marriage, be it child care, be it in health, be it in crafts. All those are very, very useful within the community that you can lay, lay your hand on this or that. And maybe I'm also privileged is uh, I went through uh, to do trauma counseling at one time, uh, obtained for one year. That has also given the other side of our wholesome situation that we are. I'm able to see from behind the scene, mm -hmm. able to, to, to recognize that, well, there is an issue, mm -hmm. especially that most of our people are having. Uh, they are traumatized psychologically, and sometimes they react. I've learned how to deal with them. Again, hello everyone. I'm Noella Moga. I'm here at All Saints Cathedral, and I we have been joined by the presence of Bishop Yugu the Bishop of All Saints Cathedral, Juba Episcopal Church. Juba Diocese Episcopal Church. How are you doing, Bishop? I'm doing okay. Welcome, Thank welcome. Thank you very much. Nice also. to meet you. Thank you very Thank much you. to meet you. you. Um, so we were discussing about, uh, we were doing a documentary on Reverend Janet Michael mm. and the work she's doing as a pastor in the church and in the community. And ah, it's hard. I don't know what question to ask you, but perhaps you can give us a word of encouragement to women who may be thinking about going into service. Yeah, thank you, my daughter. Uh, your mother, Janet, was doing a lot here. Yes. Uh, really, she was doing a lot. Uh, since she was a leader, when she was promoted to, she was not a leader. 
when she was promoted to the deacon and deaconess, and then now to good priest, as she is doing the best. As she is the one getting the work out here in the church here. Mm -hmm. She is mm -hmm. doing a lot mm -hmm. in preaching, in leading, in counseling, mm -hmm. and others and, uh, which are dedicated to her. Mm -hmm. uh, she really helped us in the church during the time when mm -hmm. she was with us. Up to now. Although yes. we retired her, but she's still active in the service. Yes. Yes, she's a backup. Because we retired you in the administration. Uh -huh. But in the but in the service you are not retired. Yes. Yeah, you can continue to retire, you can do the service until you die. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You cannot Amen. you cannot say that now nah, I'm retired, I don't want to do this. No. Yes. Instead when you are retired you become very active. Yes. Like what I uh, if you can uh, you can call the piece of authority. Uh -huh. When he was a piece of authority, he was not doing a lot. But when ah, he was retired, now he is becoming retired. very popular to the whole world. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He is becoming very active. So yes. retirement doesn't mean that and you are not anymore mm -hmm. fit to do the job. No, she is doing well. And also she is from helping the government of South Sudan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the hospital. Okay, so let's continue. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, you see, your mother is doing a lot also in the government side. Yes. As you can hear, we can. I used to monitor in the in the radio uh -huh. because he's being taken for workshops, to train people mm -hmm. to speak about what it is, and mostly about gender mm -hmm. and how people can care about the families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is a bigger. Yeah. This is where the people are benefiting both in the church as well as in the, in the government side. So we are very grateful and we, we, we are encouraging now women to come out mm -hmm. and join the service even in the church here. Because uh, we find that when you employ more women, your job will be done properly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> than man. This is what we know it. Yeah, when we employ them, they will do their job and they will continue doing their job. And they are very, very, very patient. Yeah. And they, are, they don't get angry easily like us, man. Because sometimes we, when you talk to me, I will get angry. Even if I'm not talking, I will just keep silent. It means that there's something. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much for this. Uh, what we know, this is the work well, And we are encouraging you. To thank you for coming and interviewing us in the cathedral. I'm coming for confirmation. Yes. Yeah, yes. we have candidates okay. here. Okay. And the uh, diocese of Juba is moving. Uh, the bishop is moving around the diocese. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving around the diocese with okay. the archbishop. Yeah. But the archbishop went to to, to Uganda. Uh -huh. He's supposed to be leaving to Israel yesterday or okay. today. Okay. Yeah. But uh, the, there is a problem with visa. This yeah. was communicated yesterday. There is a problem with visa because when many South Sudanese they have visas. They apply in Kenya, they apply in Uganda, they apply in America even. And those who apply here, now in Israel, they say they are confused. They don't know what type of countries that people are applying all over the world. <laughs> okay. So they, they suspended the one of South Sudan. Okay. They want to find out exactly who are those people applying in America. Okay. Why, why, why are they applying in Kenya? So it becomes a problem. Okay. So, but uh, generally we are okay in the cathedral, the dance is doing well. And then uh, we thank you very much for coming okay. and joining us. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us and agreeing to talk. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. okay now. <laughs>
And if Jesus has given such a, a huge sacrifice to die on the cross for us, then who are we to make life so difficult? So it allows me to be humble. Humility is one of the things. Really to look at things transparent because if I may look at you, you may look so small, something like that. Then at the end I say, you know, we are just flesh. And when we lose our breath, we are gone. We can't move anymore. And the faith makes us to live actually a life that reflects God. That keeps us to keep on reminding us that look, what I'm doing, I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing something for God. Everywhere that I'm doing, uh, God has placed me in this earth for a purpose. And to live through the belief, it makes you to be focused on a purpose. It, then life doesn't become just haphazardly that I'm here on earth. No, I have a purpose. I have a purpose. That is a center was most, uh, I don't know, tenant. Yeah. He lives by that. He preaches to all the youth about their purpose, finding their purpose. That's good. Um, well, I think praise is about to begin. <laughs> we may not be able to record anymore. Um, so thank you so much, Reverend Janet Michael. Thank you, Mommy. It has been a pleasure and honor for me to be able to talk to you about your faith and your work in the church. Thank you. Amen. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a beautiful have, voice, right? Very. I don't okay. have. We I need don't to have a voice. <laughs> God give different to so, Yeah, God gave yeah, different. Yeah, different. Yeah, for you, he gave for her, no yeah, problem. Yeah. Maybe he gave you another thing. Yeah, a different thing. Yeah, he gave me different Yes, thing. that is it. <laughs> so I saw they have a uniform. Do you ladies have a uniform too? Uh, where is the uniform? Which one? The Arabic service. No, we choir. have ours. We have. They have. We oh, have okay. to put yeah. Oh, you're going to put it? How many yeah. are you in the choir? Oh, ah, we are many. There are still many. Oh,